This is number three Grand Bags Dory out of four that you, Gino Mondello, are building for the International Dory Committee. So what process are you in doing right now? I'm nailing the top plank. You're nailing the top plank. Oh, let's see. So these are, what are those, copper? Copper square cut nails. I'll, do, I'll demonstrate that. Okay. I'm going to get a little demonstration here. See if I can find the hole. Should I come around that side? No, because I think I'm going to go over there. Yeah, yeah, you better, because I think I'm Oh, there's one you didn't nail down, right here, in the, right next to that. Yep. Tight one. I see. Over here, you can see what I'm doing. Over where you are? Watch your head. I've so, already, already pre-drilled the hole, and I'm going to slip the nail in. And I'm going to bend it over. to it. And what is that, fa what is it fastened with? The, pl the planks, in between these planks, what's in between each it's streak? A, or a sealer. Is it a type of a sealer? Only sulfide sealant. And these, and these right here are called, the, these are the knees, right? These are the knees. And it's always with, on the, uh, where it turns, right? The trunk of the tree. Yep. The trunk of the tree. How many feet is this one, Gino? 19.9. And how many feet, how much, how, how much will this weigh when it's all done? About 400. 400 pounds? Yeah. International Dory Race is next Friday, is it? Or, or this Friday? The 5th, right? Next Saturday. Next Saturday. This Saturday coming. This Saturday, the eliminations. <laughs> Yeah, right. At uh, Niles Beach. Want a beer? Do I want a beer? I want a beer, but I don't think my wife wants me to have a beer. <laughs> Thank you, though. I'm going to have a beer. Oh, I couldn't fault you. Is that part of the dory making process? Every night. Cold adult beverages? <laughs> we have a finished story underneath the deck here. Oh, I'll go check that out. So, you know, while you're pouring, well, that's an export, expert pour on that Guinness over there. Oh, it's, you know, it's just as good as in the, as a tap. <laughs> look at it. That's a, that's a perfect head you just poured right oh, there. Look at that. All right, now we're looking at, what am I looking at right here? This, this, this belt. This belt come off the Schooner Esperanto, which sank, I believe, somewhere in late 20s, early 30s was a contender for the Fisherman's Cup races, but also was a good fisherman, Captain Marty Welch. And the owner went to Sable Island where she went aground and salvaged what he could, and he brought back the belt. And he donated it to the Heritage Center. Pretty cool. Well, the family did. <clears throat> you got the, you got the, what do you call that, the, the donger? The what? donger, yeah. Can you dong it for, for the people? Can I dong it? Sure. <laughs> Lucky is, Joe. That's a pretty good one. All right, and this is, what Gino was working on in his workshop, this is what the finished product looks like. 19, 19.9, Gino? 19.9. And du Double bank jewelry, they call it. And this is what the, the races will be racing in uh, for the international dory races. Or is this a practice dory? No, this is a race dory. This is a race dory. If so, so this is a two-person dory? Two-person, yep. Could one person row it if they wanted to? Yep, easily, yep. But you also make, what is it, that? the hand... Handline door. Handline door is, is 17? 17. And uh, that one person could push that around pretty good, right? Pretty easy, yeah. So if someone w wanted to get one of these doors built by you, could they contact you? Contact me or contact the Heritage Center. And how much would it cost to build one of these? This size here is 5,200. Handline door is 4,200. The one in between, which is called the Bastard Dory, is 4,800. There you go. Very good.
And where can people, oh, the, the ores are, where can people get the ores for these? Through the Dury Committee, or I can get them for them out of Nova Scotia for them. This is a beautiful boat right here. And I say that there's no better way to discover Gloucester Harbor than on a dory. You're, you're as low as you can be in the water on one of these dories and really get a feel for the whole harbor when you're, when you're on the dory and you don't have an engine buzzing in, the, in, your, in, your, uh, in your ear. It's just you and the stroke of your oar. And it's, it's, it's really peaceful once you get... Well, it's funny, you get, I, when I get on a dory and I pull away from the dock, all those ambient sounds, everything is just goes away, goes right? Away. It's amazing, yeah. All right, thanks, Gino. Okay, Joe.